Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. I mean, in this video, I'm actually going to be uh, talking about an app called FDE AI. Now, what this app actually does is um, it actually uh, gives you better battery life on any Android device. Um, now, your uh, phone will need to be rooted for this app to actually function and work how it should um, because there's certain uh, things in there like system things. Um, that it needs access to and that requires root access um, So if your phone is not rooted then this app won't work um, and you also uh, need a uh, Magisk uh, module um, It'll actually show you how to do that when you download the app uh, itself um, I'll actually show you guys how to get the app you just go into the Google Chrome here uh, Or any web browser that you have on your device and you search for FDE uh, AI and then it should be the first one here. It's a GitHub uh, source. You go in here and then you go down to download down there. Um, you can read about it here. It says that it's an all-in-one automate optimizer for all devices running Android OS. Um, but it does require root. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to go to the latest build. And then you want to uh, go down and then you want to click on APK and you want to just uh, install that. Um, and then you also want to install the uh, Magist Zip right there. Um, you can do that, and then you can uh, install that. Um, you can go into the Magisk app here, um, and then you go to uh, Modules, um, and then you just go it to Install from Storage, um, and it should be down here. Um, let me see. Actually, I think it's up here somewhere. Uh, trying to find it. Um, actually, uh, the only reason that you would need the Magisk uh, module, I guess it depends on your device, but um, for me, I'm actually on a Google Pixel 7, um, and actually it told me that I didn't need the Magisk module, so I don't know what that's about, um, but it actually works for me without the Magisk module, um, so, you know, every device is different, so it might work for you without the Magisk module, it might need the Magisk module, I think it's just like a thing that it depends on your device, so, you know, if it, if it tells you when you uh, open the app to install it, then I would install it, but if it doesn't, you know, then you probably won't need it. Um, so let's actually open the app up here. Um, now, I myself, I like to, uh, conserve as much battery power as I can. Um, so I actually have the setting on power save. Um, you can go to the FDA, FDE settings here. And there's a bunch of other things that you can play with in here. There's a bunch of stuff like analyze apps, disable throttling, uh, auto refresh rate, force doze mode. I like to keep these three things on. Um, Android 6.0 introduced the doze mode, which reduces battery consumption by deferring background CPU and network activity for apps when the device is unused for long periods of time. Um, FDE. AI can trigger it earlier if you have any problems. You can right list apps, the do's using the button below. Um, so force do's, um, enable to make your device enter the do's mode as soon as you turn the screen off. Um, I like to do that because it does conserve battery very well. Um, so I keep that on. Um, build prop tweaks, um, I keep that as the default. I don't mess with any of that. Um, MISC, MISC. Um, I go in here and I've uh, actually turned on this, uh, kill background apps, automatically kill apps when the screen is off. If AI is in advanced mode, feature is enabled automatically and kills background apps when heavy process is in the foreground. So I just keep that on, I don't mess with anything else in there. Um, analyze apps, you can go in here and you can uh, foreground apps analysis for, uh, to make exact instant decisions for system optimization. Um, I can, you know, you can turn that on, you can do stuff like that. I normally keep this on, I, I uh, you know, like to choose what apps I, I don't mind having, you know, put in sleep mode. In other words, you know, what you want in doze mode and what you don't want in doze mode, that's basically what this is, I guess. Um, so, uh, the other thing, you know, like I said, you can go down here to other settings, um, you can choose the app theme, I like to keep it on dark. Um, you can, you know, choose sounds, you can do all that kind of stuff, you can have it on auto start, um, for when you restart your phone, it'll automatically start, um, you have power consumption up here, as you can see, the power consumption, CPU frequency little, CPU frequency big, you can see, you know, what it's doing, CPU frequency prime, uh, RAM available, 25%, battery temp, 
34 uh, point C, uh, 660 hertz display frequency. So I like to keep on mine on the lowest. I don't really, you know, like having it at 90 hertz. I mean, it just kills your battery. So I, I just keep it on the lowest. It's not that big of a deal to me. Some people wouldn't, but, you know, I, I like to, you know, keep it on the lowest myself. Um, so you can go into the tools here, back at the main uh, screen here. Um, you can also see the lifetime, like how long it's been running for, uh, CPU turbo times and CPU loads, uh, GPU load, um, all that kind of good stuff it shows you. Uh, so you can go into the tools here. You can go into the battery health. It tells you a bunch of stuff um, with the battery health. You can limit the charge level. Um, so like say you wanted to you know, not have your battery charge um, you know, fully to 100%, you can, you know, have it charged to 90%, 80%, 50%, you know, any, any kind of, you know, percentage that you want to save, you know, to help with battery life and all that, the battery, uh, health and all that. You can go into the cleaning here. Um, I can actually show you guys this. I can actually clean my RAM. I'll do that. As you can see, it's done. Uh, I can do the storage. I'll actually show you guys my storage right now. I have 93.88 free, and I'll uh, run the storage cleaner. Okay, so that's done. As you can see, I got like 3 gigabytes back, 96.17. So that's pretty good. I mean, man, it's pretty good uh, storage cleaning, really. So um, now you can go to the uh, adaptive downscale. Um, I don't really mess with that, but you can mess with that kind of stuff. Um, extra optimization, I don't really mess with this stuff either, really, max performance and stuff like that you can do in there. Uh, you can do customizable shortcuts, floating windows, and all that kind of stuff. You have to pay for premium for that. I don't really, you know, pay for apps that often, so I wouldn't do that. Uh, floating windows, you have to pay for premium for that, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can go down here about the about info and stuff about the uh, app itself. Um, and all that kind of stuff. It says uh, check for apps for updates on app startup. I like to keep that on. So um, as you can see, it's been updated on April 20th. Um, it's now May 29th. So they haven't updated in, you know, about a few weeks. But, you know, I, I think that this app is going to be pretty, you know, updated regularly, you know. So um, it's a, like I said, it's a really nicely laid out app. I really like it. It's, you know, obviously it's from a third party developer, but I, you know, really like it. I really think that it does um, save battery life. Um, another way that you can save battery life, obviously, is by turning on the Android built-in uh, battery saver. I leave that on all the time, even, you know, um, when I'm at home, you know, I'm out, you know, I, I just leave it on at all times. I just, you know, I like to save battery where I can. Um, another thing you can do is to save battery power, um, you can actually go into your settings, your phone settings, and you can turn on extra dim. As you see there, for the sake of the video, I'm going to turn it back off, though. Um, I can actually go into the settings here, and as you can see, you can mess with the intensity. Uh, you can go dimmer, you can go lighter, um, you can uh, keep on after uh, device restarts. You can add a shortcut, um, you can do that kind of stuff, as you can see. I can add a shortcut down there, which is pretty nice. I like to keep that off, though, because I have the shortcut up here in my you know uh settings up there so um but yeah i mean those are a couple ways to save battery you know without root access if you don't have root access you can use those two ways obviously the built-in uh battery saver and the uh the extra dim you know i've noticed that that does save me some more battery life so um even with my uh my auto brightness all the way up i've noticed that it does you know dim the screen a little bit more than you know um, it normally does, but most of the time when I am outside, I do have to turn off the extra dim um, when I'm outside because it, you know, even with my auto brightness all the way up, um, I have to turn that off because it's just too dim to be out in the sunlight. You can't really see uh, your phone unless you have like sunglasses on or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, but yeah, guys, I mean, that's the way, uh, that's the uh, app that I found. Uh, I actually came across it. Uh, I was actually looking online for a way to save battery life on my Google Pixel 7. Um, and, you know, uh, I mean, the Google Pixel 7, the battery life isn't too bad out of the box. Um, but, you know, this, this app definitely does help with the uh, battery life. So I definitely recommend um, if your phone is rooted, you know, any phone, 
um, if you have a rooted device, I definitely recommend checking out that app, FDEAI. Um, I definitely recommend it. You know, like I said, um, you can do all kinds of stuff in there. You can optimize it. You can, um, let me actually show you guys the, uh, the settings here for the, uh, for the AI mode. Um, I actually forgot to talk about that. You can actually go in here, um, AI and FDE always runs in background, uh, learns and analyzes your device's use of scenarios, uh, correspondingly applying various system op optimizations. Um, I like to keep mine on power save. You can choose from three different modes. Um, I like to keep mine on power save so I can get as much battery out of it as possible, um, especially when I'm at work. I mean, I do, you know, I do carry my charger and stuff with me, so I mean, I don't really have to worry too much because I work out of school. Um, you know, so I just, I just go into the, one of the classrooms when I'm working overnight, you know, and, and plug in, you know, my phone, you know, in, in an outlet in one of the classrooms and just let it charge while I'm working. You know, I don't, I don't really leave it, you know, obviously I'll, you know, sometimes lock the door and, you know, maybe go downstairs or something, you know, grab something, you know, to eat or drink or something. But, you know, once in a while, I don't really leave it too much. I, I, you know, I'll, I'll put it in one of the classrooms and charge it in there. Um, and, you know, most of the time I'm around, so, you know, I don't really, you know, have to worry about running out of battery life altogether. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I do like to keep it on power save. It says optimize this system to be more uh, power save. Uh, CPU slash GPU turbos will not be triggered. <coughs> um, and MISC -I um, auto. Um, I don't really like that one too much. I mean, I've, I've tried it, and it doesn't really give me the best battery life. Um, tries to balance between performance, power saving, optimization, depending on device usage scenario. Uh, advanced AI mode allows deeper system optimization and automatically triggers some FDE settings. Um, you can also turn on advanced mode down there, but I, like I said, I, I use power save, so it's completely up to you guys, whatever you guys want to uh, choose here. Um, performance obviously that's going to give you the best uh the best performance so um you know that's going to use the most power optimized system to get more performance will frequently trigger uh cpu gpu turbos and misc um extra settings um you can you know mess around with the stuff in here screen on delay screen off delay all that kind of stuff uh disable tweaks for sensitive notification uh disable ai um you can do all that kind of stuff. Performance, um, you can you know you can go to all AI info. You can do that kind of stuff. It tells you all about the AI information and everything. Um, so that's basically it, guys. I mean, that's basically the app. Um, another thing that you can turn on if you guys don't see here, um, if you guys didn't see here, you can turn on this notification, which I think is really nice um, because actually, um, when you uh, unless you're on power, unless you're plugged in. Um, you can't actually see the battery percentage in your in your control panel up here, like um, unless you you know like up here, um, it just shows the battery icon. But um, with this on, um, this uh, from the AI app from the uh, yeah from the uh, I'm trying to remember the app name the FDE uh, app. Um, if you turn that on, you can actually see the battery percentage right here um, in your notification pull down, which is really nice, 86%. Um, and if you tap the little, you know, arrow right there, uh, you can see the, uh, power consumption, uh, you can see the temperature of the battery, 35.C, uh, capacity, uh, you can see the time, uh, to full discharge, 8 hours, 4 minutes, um, so that's really nice, you know, really, uh, nice information to see, I really like being able to see the battery percentage in my, uh, pull down section there, like I said, because you can't really, uh, see the battery percentage up here, um, which I think is stupid. I really think that Android um, or Google needs to add that, you know, because you can see it up here, but you can't see it, you know, unless your phone is plugged in, um, which I think is stupid. If they're going to have it show when your phone is plugged in um, in the notification area, then they should, you know, show it all the time. I, I just don't really understand that. But um, anyway, yeah, guys, that's the app, the FDA, I, um, the FDEA, I, yeah um app so like i said you do need uh root for that uh app to work but i mean um if you do have root access you know it's a great app um like i said i've only you know i've only lost like two percent of battery since i've been recording this video um i think i started out at like 88 percent it's down to 86 now 
So, you know, that's not really that bad, especially when you're recording a video. Um, so it definitely does work. It definitely does save battery um, where it can, you know, when it can. Um, and, you know, like I said, you can mess around with all those settings in there um, and, you know, tweak it to how you like it. You know, the, the three different optimizing modes. Um, you can, you know, do whatever you want in there, make it however you want it. Um, and then they have the... Uh, they have the uh, section in there where you can get more RAM, you can boost the RAM, um, and you can also uh, clean your caches and everything like I showed you guys. So it's a it's a really must-have app in my opinion, especially if you're um, a root user, you know, it's definitely, you know, a, a must-have app. So, but anyway, yeah guys, I just wanted to share that with you guys um, and get this video out there. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and until next time, guys.